Okay, next we are going to um, put in the motor. Um, but first I want to show you uh, how to uh, oil your motor. Um, what you want to do is, all I did was uh, I got some motor um, bearing lubricant from anythingheli.com. Um, they have it on there. And it just comes in a nice uh, little container. And when you oil a Scorpion motor, um, there's two bearings in them. One is this top bearing, which you can see um, right here. And to oil that one's really easy. You just uh, kind of try and get as much up underneath the um, clip that's on there as possible. Squeeze a little bit out. Uh, get it on there and then spin the motor a few times. Um, these, this one came, it, it was nice and uh, lubricated when it came, um, but it doesn't hurt to add a little more to it. Uh, with, if you keep the stock bearings inside of these motors, uh, it's a good idea to lubricate them every five to 10 flights, um, especially for helicopter. Scorpion motors because they tend to uh, the bearings tend to go bad otherwise if you don't. The other bearing is if you look inside these holes here, um, down inside there against the um, motor shaft, you'll see another bearing. And there, all you have to do is take your your um, little lubrication applicator needle thing and just put it inside there and put a drop or two right on the bearing in there. It's really easy to see um, when you're looking inside the motor. It's kind of hard to see on the video. Um, but as soon as you get your motor and, and open it up you'll see right away where the bearing is on the inside. And then again after you put a few drops in there just spin your motor a few times and you're good to go. Um, so that's it for keeping your motor nice and lubricated. Um, like I said, five, ten flights, every five, ten flights. Put a drop of oil or two in there, you're good to go. First we're gonna put in the uh, short ones. We're not gonna tighten anything up yet. Uh, we're just gonna loosely put it in there for now. Because uh, we're gonna have to adjust the motor in order to get the right uh, mesh between the main gear and the pinion. Um, that's another thing too. Don't put your pinion on first, because uh, if you put your pinion on first, you're not going to get your motor block mount on there. So, put this on. Loosen these up a little bit, because I can't move the plate. Alright, and then we'll put our pinion on. Um, I kind of cheated, I pre-fit this just to see uh, how it was going to work. Um, and for me, the pinion works best when it's flush down on as far down, there's two flat spots on there, one on each side of the um, motor shaft and two places for set screws to go in. Um, it actually fits best inside the helicopter if you can get that pinion as far down on the main shaft as possible. Um, and if you're permanently putting on your pinion, use Loctite on these set screws for sure. Um, I'm not going to put this on permanently yet because I'm actually going to switch it out and go with a smaller pinion um, just to lower the head speed on the helicopter which will give you longer flight times and um, really this helicopter has so much power to begin with it doesn't it doesn't really uh, require a 16 tooth pinion and that's what comes with it. Um, actually I'm going to go with a 14 tooth pinion. So alright, we got that set. Now is the fun part. 
Um, what you have to do is set it in there and then see, notice right now how I can spin the main shaft and the main gear and it's not even moving the motor. So I gotta take it out um, and you just have to adjust your your uh, motor block here. So I'm gonna push it more this way, tighten it up, tighten up one bolt here, maybe two. Uh, just so it doesn't slide around on me as I'm trying to set it in there. So, fit it in there again. Um, this time it's too tight. And I can tell because I have zero play in between when I try and spin this. I can spin the motor and it spins the, the main gear. But if you hold the motor and try and move your main gear, you should have a little bit of play in there and right now it's just it's solid I can't I can't move wiggle my main gear at all um, so out comes the motor again let's slide it back the other way a little bit this time uh, we'll try right there And I still have not put Loctite on anything. Um, and you'll see why here in a second. Alright, notice now how I have a little bit of play here. I can I can move my main gear with without having to move the motor. Um, so that's pretty good so far. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go through your entire mesh, your main gear, go all the way around. Because... Um, all main gears are not exactly the same, you know, they're not exactly round, so you, go on, you want to find the um, least round spot in it that's going to be against the motor, because uh, that'll be the tightest spot against the, the pinion then. So you just kind of go around, keep going around. This looks pretty good, actually. I like this spot where it's at now. All right, so now since we found the right spot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave um, those two semi-tight, and then I'm just gonna take out these two side ones here, and put Loctite on there, and screw them back in nice and tight. Um, do that for the other side. After those are nice and tight in there, then I'll take out one of these, put Loctite on it, screw it back in. Uh, take out this one, put Loctite on it, screw it back in. So that way I don't lose um, the position on where the motor is on the, the motor block here. Uh, and then after that, after you got Loctite on those four bolts, you simply set your motor back in, Check it to make sure nothing has changed. Um, and then put in your two flathead screws that come with the motor um, right inside there because there's it's uh, pre-drilled for them so it'll be nice and flush right here uh, once you get those in. And then you also have um, one and two bolts on the side of the motor block. Um, that you need to put in the 3x6 screws into. Then once you have that done, then your motor is in.